we are live. We are live with Women Living Fully Radio, and we are live on Facebook Live with Holly Warner. So for those of you that are going to join us on the Facebook Live, I'm actually recording our Women Living Fully Radio show interview with Holly, and we're also doing the video of the recording as well to go up on our blogs. And I'm going to be interviewing Holly, so I'm going to flip my camera. So I'm going to say hello to you guys, and then I'm going to flip this over so you can get up behind the scenes a little bit. So there's Holly and I. Hi, Holly. Hey, if you're right. How are you? So Darpan just joined in. Hi, Darpan. <laughs> hey, Darpan. <laughs> so cool. All right, so I need to read your introduction for, and my hand is shaking, so it's going to be a little tough a little bit here. So hang on. Let me read the introduction for the radio show and for the video, and then I'm going to jump in with some questions, but I also want those that are on the Facebook Live, if you have questions, post them in the Facebook Live, and we'll ask Holly to answer them live with us. How's that? I think Holly's up for that. All right. I'm up for it. Sure. Yeah, of course. Great. So this is all new, so we're exploring. So Holly is a board-certified holistic health practitioner who specializes in clinical nutri nutritional therapy and functional diagnostic testing, and we'll tell you all about that. As a functional dia diagnostic clinician, she's also, she, she also runs tests which are non-invasive to get to the root cause of what's really going on with your health. For hormone, hormone imbalances to thyroid issues, gut health, adrenal dysfunction, metabolic syndrome, stress management, and autoimmune disease. So she covers it all. So this is going to be a great, great interview. She has spent the past nine years researching with some of the biggest names in functional medicine and inter integrative, help me with that word. Integ integrative. <laughs> Thank you very much. For some reason, it didn't want to come out right. Nutrition. She has trained in the hum human microbiome, social genomics, and over 100 dietary theories. She understands how lifestyle, stress, and the day-to-day -day tasks, how day-to-day -day tasks can alter your digestive, your hormone balance, and adrenal health, therefore affecting performance in the workplace and life in general. And at Women Living Foley, we talk about self-care. We talk about nutrition. We talk about really taking care of who we are. We have to take care of ourselves first so we can take care of others and this is such an important topic, and I know you have a wealth of experience and expertise. So for those listening to the radio show interview or watching the video or joining us live, you're in for a great treat. So Holly, I'm going to start by asking you the first question is, what got you to do this work? And what did you, what did you experience in your life that got you to say, I need to do this? This is too important not to do. Oh, gosh. Well, I started with a background in cancer prevention. As we know, cancer pretty much touches everyone's life, whether it be directly or indirectly. There's no one on the planet who doesn't know someone mm -hmm. who's had cancer, be it you know a parent, a sibling, a spouse, a close friend, a cousin. It's hitting everyone. So I spent years and years training in that, um, and I wanted to delve a little bit deeper to you know what's the root cause. So through my journey, I set upon the adrenals. I went through the bioidentical training for hormone balancing. I went through the thyroid training. I went through the human microbiome project, uh, which is fantastic, and it still wasn't enough. And then I landed on the adrenals where I realized stress is literally killing us. Mm -hmm. It's causing cancer. It's killing us. And no one is more stressed than women because we wear every single hat. We are wife. We are mom, we are sister, we are daughter, we are every hat, and then we have work. And we have these high-paid positions, these crazy busy positions at work. We're expected to do everything and juggle home and soccer practice and you name it, and, 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 and. So we don't take time for ourselves. And as I was doing all of my research and realizing that women needed help, I myself ended up with adrenal issues. I had a bad relationship that went sour. I had a two children. I became a single mom. I literally wore too many hats and went into uh, some of the final stages of adrenal dysfunction and thought that I was superwoman and I could take care of myself and be completely fine without really understanding what was needed. And that was to sort of step back and practice what I was preaching because I wasn't doing that. And in following that journey, I've been able to actually help more women because I now understand having gone through it, I got very sick 
And I've come out of that with even more knowledge and experience from a personal level. And it's been fantastic. It's been very freeing. That's great. And it, we both work with women and we see how our lives can really take a toll on us. Mm-hmm. And what I find very interesting is that women seem to think they can do it all, which also comes back to we can take care of our health and our own. And that's why I like doing these interviews because I know that there comes a time when we need to ask for help. We need support. We need resources. We need to take care of ourselves by asking for help. And you're the perfect person to go, go speak to if you're not feeling well, if you're fatigued, if, if you just know something's not right. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to give our, our viewers and our listeners and those on Facebook Live your website. It's hollywarnerhealth.com. Go to our website, lots of information there. And um, in the show notes, I'm also going to include an ebook that Holly has. Could you tell us a little bit about the ebook? So, for those that are going to see the show notes, they can go grab that. The ebook is just a fun little spring fall uh, detox slash cleanse that I like to put out because so many people, they go and they buy a kit and they think they have to do all of these things. This just incorporates what you have in your kitchen, some herbs, medicinal herbs. You know, you're making soup, you're making a shake, and I don't mean buying powders and such, but actually making a shake. You're juicing. Now that we're heading into fall, cooler weather, what to juice, what not to juice, or scrap the juicing altogether, and you can just make the soup bases or the shake bases. So it gives you options of what to do to give your digestive system a break, to give it a rest. You can do it for three days, five days. It's completely customizable. It's just a little bit of a boost for your immune system going into the cold weather months. And also for those that are watching or listening to this interview later in the spring or even next summer, you say this applies as well throughout the year. So can you tell us a little bit more about that? You, all you have to do is look at the recipes that are in it and say, hey, you know what? It's cold. I want warming and grounding foods. So you do more of the, the shakes or you do more of the soups. And as we get into spring and days kind of warm up or even summer, you say, I want more of the juicing and less of the soups and you move in that direction. So you've got recipes to fit into whatever your mood, whatever the season is. Some people are hardcore juices and they juice all year round. So there's something there for everyone. Now, you have a Facebook group that you told me about that Mm. is called The Body Shop. So for those listening, watching, either watching us live or watching the recording, go to Facebook, check out The Body Shop, ask to join the group, and tell us what happens in your Facebook group. So the Facebook group is private and it is free. And I've done this so that people can kind of come on board from all walks of life and be able to see specific protocols that I've added as freebies. So, you know, we're going into fall and winter right now. I'll post a recipe for a great soup recipe that also happens to be detoxifying or liver supportive or kidney supportive. Or I'll post, you know, hey, here's an article about vitamin D3, how you need to incorporate vitamin K2 with your D3 to avoid getting uh, calcium toxicity issues so that you don't have calcification of the arteries. This is something massive for women because our doctors tell us take calcium and then we end up having a heart attack or a stroke. So this is your prevention method. And I post these things in the group so you get the info that you need. And for those that are interested, I, I'll be sharing some of these things with Women Living Fully in our Women Living Fully group as well. So for those that are part of Women Living Fully, you know what happens in our group. And I love to take resources from experts and share them in the Women Living Fully group so that you get a taste of a lot of different things uh, on different, you know, from relationships to health to wellness to money and finances. We talk about life in general. So I want to bring Holly to the forefront today to, as a resource, as a resource for you and others that you know who may need that type of assistance, who want to have better health, but you know, just not finding the right answer for them. So we're going to turn off the Facebook Live shortly. So I just want to ask one question for those that are watching live. Um, what are some of the three things that you see most frequently that you feel women need to pay attention to? And then we'll turn off the live, we'll continue the interview, and and those that are on the live, I'll post the link on my Facebook page later. Holly will share it as well, and then you can find the rest of the interview afterwards. So what are some of the the three things we really need to pay attention to, some of the things that can turn into lessons if we're not paying attention? The number one thing I see in my clinical practice is that women go see their doctor, and they say something's off. I don't feel right. 
they have testing done that the parameters are not optimal, they're too broad, they're told you're normal, you're fine, you're within range, and they leave going, but something's wrong. Please follow your gut. You are your best health advocate. And if your gut is telling you something is right and your doctor is saying you're normal, no. Go get a second opinion. Send me a message. We can chat. Join my group. This is something I see all the time. The number one thing is follow your gut. If it doesn't feel normal, chances are it's not. We need to fix it. Um, number two, I would say stress management. Mm. None of us are good at it. We're all stressed. You're not going to get rid of stress in your life. Let's be realistic here. Stress comes from everywhere. We need to learn how to manage it. And on days when we cannot manage it, we need to understand how to eat in order for our body to be okay. Because if you are stressed, you're in fight, flight, or freeze mode, you're not in rest and digest mode, which means you're not absorbing your nutrients and your trauma is residing in your gut. So gentle bone broths and soups and liquids, as opposed to sitting down to a steak dinner with a glass of wine. Mm. Which sounds more comforting, but no, yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, here's my steak, and I'm angry, and I'm cutting it with my fork, and I'm jamming <laughs> my vegetables because I'm eating healthy food, and my body's going, ah, yeah. what is this? Because all of my blood flow is in my appendages, not in my gut, where I'm supposed to be digesting the food. Right. Right. Um, the other thing I would say that's in line with that is breathe. Take a breath. Take a couple of deep breaths. You know, before you sit down and you have a meal. You want to make sure that your enzymatic response is happening. Look at your food. Smell your food. Take a few deep breaths. Change your state. That's key as well. Is your digestion goes in play with your adrenals. Your adrenals go and play with your thyroid. So if your brain is foggy and your gut is off, your thyroid is going to be having issues. Your adrenals are going to have issues. All of your supportive systems are going to have issues. Everything supports each other because we are one massive functioning group of systems. We're not individual body parts. I need my arms and my legs to walk. Mm -hmm. I also need my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful eyes. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> so for those on our Facebook live, we're going to sign off live. We're going to continue the interview with Holly. As I mentioned, we'll post the links later so you can come and either watch the show or listen, download the show and take it on the go with you. Um, before we head off, Holly Warner's website is hollywarnerhealth.com hollywarnerhealth.com and you can go to her Facebook private page, the body or group, pardon me, the body shop and ask to join. And there's tons of resources there. So thanks for joining us on the live and we will talk to you guys. You guys, hi, later. <laughs> Say bye to them, Holly. Bye. <laughs> All right, let's stop this. And for those that are still with us on the Facebook, not on the Facebook, there we go. We will post it. And now we will let that go. So thanks for doing that. That was fun. Um, so for those that are listening to the radio show or watching the interview, we're going to continue. I have a few more questions for Holly. And uh, I, I think it's, I, you're giving such wealth of information. I saw a few hearts going by on the live. I, I know that what you're giving is what is, is not, it's not the, inf the standard information that we, li we hear, right? It's like you said, you can have a steak and feel like you're eating well and have a little bit of wine and you're okay. But when you're not, feeling well, there's really something to pay attention to. So I, I was on your website. I saw that you do provide consultations. You do have ways to work privately with you. So for anybody who's interested, go to your website at hollywarnerhealth.com. Go find out, reach out to her, reach out to her on any social media platform. You'll find the links there on her website. Reach out to her, send her an email, get in touch with her. If you feel like I got to talk to her. There's, if, pay attention to that inner voice because it's so, so important. Um, what does living fully mean for you? Oh, living fully for me ah. is something that I have recently figured out. So living, <laughs> yeah, it's um, honestly living fully for me was finding my bliss. Mm. And so many of us live life with it and we haven't found our bliss. And I found mine uh, this summer. I, uh, I tell people, I joke around that I lost 220 pounds. Um, I'm getting a divorce. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Got it. 
Um, yeah, it, for me, it was following my truth and realizing that following my passion, I needed to be not only my own health advocate, which I preach to my patients, but also I had to be my own supporter. I had to love myself to be the best person I could for my two daughters. And that meant uh, coming to terms with the fact that if there's something unhealthy in your life, you're not living fully. You need to get the trash out. You need to get the garbage out. And the trash and the garbage, they're in here. They're in your brain. So if something's contributing to you know, the negative talk or the person being negative, the boss is negative, your spouse is negative, a friend is negative, you have to reevaluate that relationship and see, you, can, you, can you fix that situation or change the situation? What can you do? Because constantly having, you know, one little drop of water on my hand isn't going to hurt me, but a constant steady dripping will eventually wear a hole through my hand. The same thing happens with negative talk, negative outside. So you're not living fully. And so for me, living fully was changing that and following my bliss, which I've done. And I am incredibly happy now. That's great. And it shows. It shows like you're radiating. You're Thank beautiful. you. <laughs> yeah, you see it's from the outside in too. And I would like to add that you said it's all up here, but it, a lot of it's here too. Oh, absolutely. The emotional stuff that we've been holding on to. And I was recently at an event, and I'm not going to date the, the interview. So I was recently at an event, and I went there to understand how this expert delivers his expertise. Mm -hmm. And what I ended up getting back was so much more. It was, it was an opportunity for me to go inside and look back and, and look at some of the stuff that I still need to deal with like stuff I felt I dealt with with all my bereavement studies and my psychology stuff I, I'm good I'm good and then as we start coming here and getting out of here the it comes up and I made a list of things that now I, that are in my awareness that I want to sit with that I that I want to move through and release it and, you know, my tag is, tagline is let go, move forward, and live fully, which is very much what you're saying, too, is letting go of the stuff mm -hmm. uh, that's not nourishing you so that you can move forward and that you can live fully. So, yeah. yeah Taking it one step further is, you know, you get out of the head, you move to the heart, you take yeah. it one step further. Trauma really does reside in the gut. Mm -hmm. So if your gut health is off, but you haven't dealt with a trauma from your past, it could be a car accident. It could be an abusive childhood. It could have been an abusive relationship. It could have been an abusive boss. You could have been bullied in school. That trauma, if not dealt with, does reside in your gut and it does create serious health issues down the road. So you're absolutely correct. Deal with the trauma. Absolutely. Yeah. Deal with, with deal with the heavy stuff. And not pack it up in a box and put it away in the basement and never look at it, right? Like take right. it out, unpack it one item at a time, yes. look at it, deal with it, process mm -hmm. it. There's, there's techniques. You have yours. Oh, I yes. mine. Just ways to really release it. And you can't, if you ignore it, it's always going to haunt you. It's going to be there, right? It's going to yes. show up. So you and I both know that. And I know our viewers and our listeners know that, right? It's, I, I think, I have a good, I, good intuition here. I think you guys know. And it's, it's, it's really about facing it and not being afraid of facing it because it's okay. On the other side is better health, uh, better relationships, loving yourself even more. All, all the great things that you're wanting for you, for, for your life are in that exploration. And that's why it's so important that, you know, if you have that little voice saying, I need to speak with Holly, reach out to her. So your website again is hollywarnerhealth.com and our private Facebook group is The Body Shop. What do you want our listeners to know starting today that so they can take steps starting right now to move forward and live fully, which is what we're talking about. What do you recommend they start doing to really take care of themselves and live fully? Contact me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're allowed to say that. That's the biggest step. You know, so many people, they reach out to me and um, looking at the funnel and, and charting it all, there's an average of six months that it takes before people actually book that consultation with me. And I always say, you know, um, my grandmother used to say, okay, I won't swear, poop or get off the pot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. Let's Basically, keep, yeah. keep it clean. <laughs> 
because we don't know who's in the room listening while someone is actually listening <laughs> right? to the interview. <laughs> like my kids have an automatic sensor button. <laughs> Mommy, I know. Yes. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yeah, poop, in the square jar. The pot. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, poop or get off the pot because we sit and we del- well, you know, my kid, you know, should have this, or I should buy that, or I should do, we feel guilty about spending money on ourselves for our own health. But as I like to say, the woman is almost the head of the household because you're the nurturer. And it's so important. If mom's sick, everybody's sick. Nobody's going to be, you know, if mom ain't happy, nobody's happy is, is true. Because if mom is sick, what do you do? The whole household kind of goes, Oh, we're lost. What do, what do we do? Cause mom really does so much. Wife does so much. So for me, it's, you know, you really got to take care of number one, make that first step, whether it be buy the book that you've been looking at, but didn't want to spend the $20 on or book the consultation or order those tests, go take care of yourself because you need to take care of yourself. It's very important. Don't put it off. Don't wait till that little voice in your head that's whispering turns into a yell because when it turns into a yell, you're sick. Right. Right. And you know, you're listening to this, you're watching this, you know, if it's time to do something about it. Now, Holly, I purchased something from you recently. <laughs> so I'm going to hold it up. So to show our viewers and for those that are not watching the video, you're going to tell us what this is. Cause I had my staff pick this up for me because you're on the other side of town and I wasn't going to make it out there. And when they picked it up, um, I, I had no idea what I was purchasing. I, you just told me it's really good. So I'm going to ask you why it's really good. I haven't used it yet. Didn't need to. And they just said, oh my God, it stinks so bad. So I want you to tell, it doesn't smell no more. So this is it. So tell me what's in here. I'll hold it up to the camera. All right. Well, I'm going to. What is this? <laughs> what, I know I'm supposed to use it. Look, things are going to move around in here. All right. So. And you shake it up before you take it. So the sediment that's in the bottle, you get it all, you shake it all, all right. up. And, it, and we'll know. show our viewers. Now, for those that are listening, it's in a mason jar and it's what? A, a light beige color. Mm-hmm. So tell me what this is, what it's good for, and how can they get some? <laughs> so. I have a Taoist herbal uh, background, so I like to play with herbs. Um, I like to play around on the internet and find old world recipes. Mm -hmm. And I stumbled across one almost three years ago, and it was an old world plague remedy. Oh. Literally for the plague. So I thought, oh, this looks cool. Let's check it out. So I researched the ingredients, and it's literally called either fire cider or master tonic. It is not my recipe. I've taken it from every other master tonic recipe that's out there on the internet. You can search it. You can find it. Uh It is literally food grade. So as a joke, I thought I'm going to make this. You're supposed to make it on, you know, in the middle of the month or the new moon and harvest on the full moon. Or like a real witch's brew. (laughs) It does. It does. Which is why now my kids are like, "Mommy's a witch." I'm like, "Okay, (laughs) the good kind, Glenda. The good kind. The good kind." So uh, you literally take a raw, unpasteurized apple cider vinegar. So you're getting the health benefits of that. You put garlic. You put ginger. You put horseradish. You put onions all food grade, Mm -hmm. all organic, all non-genetically modified. And then you add in some peppers. Now I put Trinidadian scorpion peppers. I put ghost peppers. I put the peppers where if you don't wear gloves, you get a chemical burn because they're so flipping hot Mm -hmm. and you let it ferment for two weeks. All right. So this isn't ready yet because it hasn't been two weeks yet. No, no, no. That's the tonic. So now all of these ingredients, when it's done fermenting, you strain the liquid. And that becomes the master tonic. So what you have is the liquid strained from that. All right. So how do I consume this and when? So now, according to the instructions, and it, it, again, it started as a joke, but then you know, certain family members and friends were like, oh, I'll try it. So they got it. And then it became the touring jar of, oh my God, that worked so well. And it went to the neighbor. And then I got you know, a call from the neighbor saying, can I come get some? Do you have more left? And three years later, I have waiting lists every season where people will not be without this stuff because it kills a cold or a flu. It prevents a cold or a flu. It literally is the best cold and flu tonic I've ever come across. I won't be without it. Most people won't be without it once they've got it. So it, it's very spicy and it's very potent. 
one to two tablespoons is all that you need when you start to feel a cold coming on. You get that nighttime, oh, my bones are a little achy or I feel a little tired and you know, uh-oh, there's the sniffle and the sneeze, something's starting. This is antiseptic, antiviral, antibacterial, antimicrobial. It has got so many anti-properties to it, nothing will survive. <laughs> All right. It's going to kill it. So you take that at the first signs. You know, your kids come home, they're sick. You get this into you for prevention. Uh, if you want to use it throughout the whole winter as prevention, you can use just a teaspoon once per day. But I use it as treatment, so one to two tablespoons, up to five times the day that you start to feel sick. Okay. If you if you wake up the next day and you still feel a little something, you can continue taking it. But most people don't need it past two days. It really works quickly. And do you take it just on its own? Do you take it with something on like its own? You shake it up and you take it. You do not dilute it. You take it straight up. All right. It's like Buckley's. <laughs> I can't it imagine you just how it is. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's potent stuff, but it works. And you're not putting anything toxic into your body. You're giving right. your body what it needs to do its job. It's immune boosting. It's all food grade. There's nothing chemical in there. Right. Well, I'll let you know. Hopefully we won't need it. Um, but I know that some people swear by it. They don't get the flu shot. They have Holly's tonic in, in their medicine cabinet. So hopefully we don't need it. And uh, if we do, I'll let you know how it works. I'm, I'm not looking forward to it because we don't want to be sick. But some I people love it. They, some people use it as a salad dressing. Really? <laughs> <laughs> they sprinkle it with some olive oil because oh. uh, it's food grade and it's apple. It's vinegar, right? Apple cider vinegar fermented. So right. some people not on <laughs> I'm a little worried. About the yeah. So we don't need to show that. Um, no, but no, I'm glad I have it. I'm really glad I have it. Um, I've only heard good things about it. So for me, I trust it. I trust you. So it's there. It's there when we'll need it. So very good. Um, we need to wrap up. Our, our time together is coming to an end. This was great. I, I would love to do this, this type of interview with you again and really dive into some more um, maybe the hormones and how women, I know women struggle with their hormones with premenopause and menopause and postmenopause and, and all the menopause stuff. So it would be good to maybe have another interview and talk about menopause. Um, I'll ask to join your group so that if you are sharing any resources there, I can bring them over to uh, Women Living Fully and share them there and cross, you know, cross pollinate the information. Absolutely. I'm actually running hormone programs right now where women are realizing that it's not the calories, it's the hormones. So the weight gain that we're getting, the muffin, the muffin top, mm -hmm. it's not what you're eating specifically, it's the hormones. Okay. And then obviously what you eat can affect the hormones. So hormones are key. Okay, great. So for the group again, the body shop is the private Facebook group. You have to ask to join and Holly will approve you. Um, you can go to her website at hollywarnerhealth.com for more information about Holly, the services she provides, information. She has a blog there, lots of great information. I would bookmark it, go back to it regularly, follow Holly on social media so that you're having her latest up-to-date information that she's putting out there and really listen to your own voice. If something is off, if you know it's time to take action, at least be curious, take the blinders off, mm -hmm. be curious, explore what Holly has, try what she's suggesting and test it for yourself and reach out to her and uh, have a conversation with her. And uh, if Holly's not the right fit, she'll have someone to help you. That's what we do, right? We're there to support each other. So again, Holly, your website is hollywarnerhealth.com and the private Facebook group is The Body Shop. So thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks for having me on. And for our viewers and our listeners, for more interviews, go to my website at pietetraymond.com. You'll see past interviews with other experts all in the field of letting go to move forward and live fully. I look forward to more interviews with you, Holly. I wish you a fantastic day. And thank you so much once again for being a guest on our show. Thank you.